some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by a subscriber. I thank you very much for providing me with this content right here. I very much appreciate it. But at any rate, we find ourselves in Las Vegas, Nevada, where a frauditor attempts to well, file a complaint on a officer. But, well, it doesn't really go anywhere. And the frauditor, well... He still gets uh, butthurt about it and everything like that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Is it a crime to be filming in a public building, miss? Do you think it's a crime? Uh, sounds like you need an education. Oh, Frauder, from what I've seen of many of your kind, it is you guys that need the serious education. Most of you have serious attitude problems. Many of you are unemployed, and a great deal of you have, uh, well, criminal records that practically make you unemployable. So let me ask you something. Who's the one that needs the education? Because it certainly isn't, uh, the people you're antagonizing. Uh, is there, are you Sergeant Hart? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, is it a crime to film in a public building? I'm not sure yet, so we'll find out. You don't know? I don't know yet what's, what the crime is or what it's not. So. You know, like a misdemeanor or a felony? I just answered your question. You don't know if it's a crime to film in a public building? It's not a crime to film in a public building. Okay. Well, this officer here allegedly thinks it is. Well, I have her on video saying that she thinks it is. Is there any reason why you want to Yeah. Uh, so I noticed that police vehicle outside is not responding to an emergency, and which means that it's illegally parked. Oh, yeah. We got one of those uh, meter-made frauditors who thinks they know everything about uh, parking laws. Yeah, I'm sure you know just as much about public forum doctrine as you do uh, parking laws, don't you? You must be one of the smartest frauditors out there. Too bad your mouth doesn't count as being intelligent. There is no signage that says that parking for city marshals like it does on the other side of the sidewalk. So this is a that's an illegally parked vehicle and i'm here to tell you guys unless you're responding to a code violation like a code four or not oh, sorry code three you can't park like that you're not above the law just because you're driving a police cruiser right so you ha you know that when you drive you have to obey all all traffic laws until you have to roll code and then you are allowed to use your code to break the traffic laws essentially correct no that's the law Do I look like a police officer? You could be an off-duty police officer. Yeah. So what, what's, what's, what's your opinion? What's, what is your opinion on that? I don't have to give you an opinion on Yeah. Do you think you're above the law? Mm. Why is that park? Why is that vehicle parked illegally out there? Well, looky what we got here. We got one of them uh, Chile de Castro University law scholar educated uh, law experts, YouTube law expert, that is. Yeah, so essentially one of those idiots who's swimming in the uh, Dunning-Kruger effect pool and making themselves dumber all the time. But this conversation goes on for a while and doesn't really go anywhere with this frauditor. And so another person shows up and he turns his attention to them. And so let's see how that turns out, shall we? Five minutes later. Uh, excuse me, Sergeant. Can I have a word with you for a moment, please? Sure. Uh, I had some concerns about that vehicle parked outside. Which one? That marshal's vehicle. Okay, it's so right that particular parking spot is a no parking zone. Okay. And unless she's responding to a code, code uh, three, she's not allowed to break traffic laws. Do you, laws know, like you know what code three is? Uh, it's when you're responding to an emergency. And NRS defines emergency as what? Uh, something where there's a call, something like an emergency. Okay. Right? What else does code three say? 
What else? I don't know. You tell okay. me, bud. Yeah, I know. You're, you're bringing it up. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's go outside and talk about it. I'm okay. I'm okay oh, in the air conditioning. You because you're right. It does save no parking. Yeah. We do utilize it for our vehicles out front because right. we need to get to equipment if an mm. emergency takes place inside the building. Yeah. Uh, pardon me, officer, but you're speaking way too much of a foreign concept known as logic to this frauditor. Unfortunately, he won't be able to comprehend it because his head is so far up his ass that pile of mush inside of his head that can call his brain won't be able to absorb that kind of information. And as a result, your words are pretty much wasted on an incompetent buffoon like this. And also, we have some... Uh other areas for our media yeah. relations. So, so parking on that side of the sidewalk where it's legal to park is not going to make a difference for your emergency because that's like five more feet. Okay. But for instance, okay. that, that vehicle is illegally parked. Okay. So am I allowed to park there? What, what does the sign say? It says no parking. Okay. But you're, it, it, unless it, you're rolling code, you can't break, you can't actually, break traffic actually, laws. Actually, that's not, that's actually not. No, rolling no. Code is lights and siren. Yes. Code three, two, yeah. emergency. Or right. You emergency. have to obey all traffic laws yeah, when you're, right. when you're traveling normally yes. and you're not responding to a that's call. It's not a traffic law, it's a parking lot. Yeah. Okay. And it's a non-moving violation. Okay. And she's parked there illegally. Okay. I'd like to file a complaint. Feel free to. I'll okay. give you the number to IA. Very good. All right. Fair enough. Anything else you can help me with today? Uh, Yes. One more thing. Well, before, uh, I, before I call out, hey, for one thing, let's get, it, let's get it all out of the way. Okay, sure. What else you got? Well, uh, she had mentioned that it's illegal to record in this in this building. Well, just like any other frauditor, you just got to whine, cry, and complain about every little thing that you come across. And I'm sure you don't even understand the public forum doctrine. I mean, come on now. Not every building is an open public forum, dude. I mean, just try this in our damn courthouse and see how far you go. Do you know it's a First Amendment protected well, activity? Let me, let me correct you. Let me not correct you, but I already spoke to my officer. Mm -hmm. I told her you have every right to go anywhere else in the public. You go in this building. It's not a big deal. And record. However, you can't go into any secured areas that aren't allowed by the Correct. Employee. And I have no desire to go into okay. any secured okay. areas. All right, cool. But you have a situation where you guys don't have the training to deal with even just the oh. simplest people. I, I, I'm I, over here holding a camera, and she calls for backup. Here's so, no, no, hold on. Oh, you're not done? Okay. No, no, I'm cool. not finished. Oh, good. No, okay. Good. So you have officers like her who are uneducated about the Constitution, who swore an oath to the Constitution to protect and uphold the Constitution, mm -hmm. and here she is trying to violate my rights. I don't you, you, don't see a, you don't see an issue with that? And here comes that massive persecution complex that frauditors tend to have. I mean, nobody here is trying to violate your rights. In fact, if they were trying to violate your rights, well, you would have been out of the building by now, and... Uh, Probably on a stretch or two, because that's just the way it would go down if they actually tried to violate your rights. Sir, that's why I'm here. I don't believe anyone's intentionally trying to deprive your rights. Uh -huh. We have an officer that doesn't work this post. Is right ignorance day. of the law an excuse? Okay. Okay. Is know. ignorance of the law an excuse? I'm not using that. I'm not, that's why so I'm here. that's not an excuse, sir. That's, that's not an excuse. Have we violated your rights? She, she was about to. But she did. Yeah, she attempted to. Oh my. That's goodness. called prior restraint. Wow. Yeah, right. that's a crime. Cool. Well, you can press charges for that too. No, more it's a, it's, it would be a federal. It would be a federal. Uh, federal courthouse yeah. right down the street. Yeah, you got it, buddy. All right. Anything else? Uh, and it's hard. Can you give me that? Okay. You're dismissed. Number you're dismissed. You're dismissed. I'm not dismissed. Oh yeah. Yes. You I, are. I can stand here just like you. Okay. You're, you're dismissed. This is what you do on your spare time, huh? No, this is what you're doing in your spare time. No. I'm actually paid to be here. Okay. You're dismissed. Well, frauditor, I would consider this that uh, you would be taking the walk of shame in this particular scenario because you sure as hell didn't get what you wanted out of the situation. Nobody was fired. Nobody's going to be prosecuted for anything because you are too much of a simpleton to get anything done. So let's go ahead and listen to what this jackass has to say now before we close it out. So as you can see, this sergeant wants to uh, twist the law to say he's allowed to break any law he wants uh, on the street because uh, his safety. Uh, that's a bunch of bull crap. If he's worried about his safety, he probably doesn't need to be on the streets anyway. Yep, sounds good, thank you. There you go, sir. All right. Thank you very much. That's the general information mm -hmm. line. That's my name and P number, her name and P number. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Let's love to you. Way to go in twisting the narrative for your 
totally brain dead audience, dude. But you know what they say, you gotta lie to fraud it. And that officer never mentioned his safety at one point in that conversation. So, dude, congratulations. You are a lying, no good, manipulative, little frauditing, sorry son of a bitch. And that's me being nice. Well, out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?